Dark they were, and golden-eyed. Ray Bradbury. The rocket metal cooled in the meadow winds. Its lid gave a bulging pop. From its clock interior stepped a man, a woman, and three children. The other passengers whispered away across the Martian meadow, leaving the man alone among his family. The man felt his hair flutter and the tissues of his body draw tight, as if he were standing at the center of a vacuum. His wife before him seemed almost to whirl away in smoke. The children, small seeds, might at any instant be sown to all the Martian climes. The children looked up at him as people look to the sun to tell what time of their life it is. His face was cold. What's wrong? asked his wife. Let's get back on the rocket. Go back to Earth? Yes. Listen. The wind blew as if to flake away their identities. At any moment, the Martian air might draw his soul from him as marrow comes from a white bone. He felt submerged in a chemical that could dissolve his intellect and burn away his past. They looked at Martian hills that time had worn with a crushing pressure of years. They saw the old cities, lost in their meadows, lying like children's delicate bones among the blowing lakes of grass. Chin up, Harry, said his wife. It's too late. We've come over sixty million miles. The children with their yellow hair hollered at the deep dome of Martian sky. There was no answer but the racing hiss of wind through the stiff grass. He picked up the luggage in his cold hands. Here we go, he said, a man standing on the edge of a sea, ready to wade in and be drowned. They walked into town. <laughs>